Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Noelle and in this video I'll be sharing parts of my process for this marina watercolor painting. I won't be talking as much today because many parts are repetitive and self-explanatory. This is not meant to be a tutorial, but I hope this can still be helpful and interesting for you. I began this piece by taping down my paper onto a foam board and applying masking fluid with a toothpick. This way, I don't ruin a brush, although it is a bit more difficult to control. For creating smooth sky and water gradients, I was trying some new techniques and supplies and struggled a lot in the beginning. My new hockey brush that I barely used before this piece added a learning curve I wasn't fully prepared for. I'm not used to large brushes and I'm not used to brushes that hold so much water, but it ended up being a great tool I needed for this piece and I'm looking forward to using it more. I started with a blue gradient, let that dry completely, and then painted an orange and yellow gradient on top. The paper I used, which is 100% cotton, absorbs the paint pigment and makes it difficult to lift the paint once it has dried. I wouldn't use this technique with cellulose paper, so keep that in mind if you try this. If you want to know more, I showed and explained this better in my City Sunset watercolor painting process video, which I'll be linking for you in the description. After the sky and water were finished, I applied a blue wash of paint over all of the boats and docks. I could have painted all of this in one wash instead of multiple smaller ones, but I wanted to make sure the drying was even and that I was being careful. I then grabbed my rubber cement pickup to remove the masking fluid, but I found that my hands worked just fine. This next phase of my process is very repetitive and took several hours to paint. I started with painting the large shadows on the boat and built the small details. Aside from the occasional gradated wash, I'm mostly just applying solid shapes on top of each other. To paint the masts on the sailboats, I grabbed a ruler and placed it parallel to my pencil sketch to guide me as I painted a straight line. I didn't paint on the edge of the ruler because paint would bleed underneath. For my darks in this piece, I cannot tell you what the paint mixture is exactly because I don't remember, but I do know it is a combination of Indian Throne Blue, Pyrrole Scarlet, and some other pigments.
For some subtle highlights, I got some white gouache and carefully painted them on shiny areas of the boat, like the lines and the metal rims. To conclude, I really like the outcome of this piece. Could it be better? Yes. And did I have some bumps along the way? Absolutely. But I'm not used to painting boats, so I'm proud of this attempt. I hope you enjoyed watching this process and that you learned something. Feel free to drop what questions you have in the comments. If you want to know what art supplies I use and recommend, you can visit my Amazon storefront list link in the description. I'll receive a commission from items purchased following the link. You can find me on my social media as well. I am the most active on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.